Oh, let me get you copies. Do you have a question? Happy Houston. Ah, Your Honor, what if any? <laughs> I only have two copies, so that's what goes. Let me just read into the record the question. Um, it's basically in regards to number C, items one and three, and number C is a jury instruction on the finding instruction um, for the online article title. The question is, does question number three, the statement is false, pertain to the headline, I spoke up against sexual violence and faced our culture's wrath, Oh, yeah, we watched this part, yeah. Or does it pertain to the content of the statement, everything written in the op-ed? So I think the confusion came in this particular one because the statement in question is the title of the op-ed. So I think they're just confused as whether it's the whole op-ed or just the title is the statement. And it's clear that the title is the statement. So I was going to answer to say the title is the statement in question for number three. Is that seem as it should be. to everybody? Nah, this Penny's job, this easy cake's for her. Does anyone know what motion um, Ben Chu put in today? Th apparently there was a motion that he put in that it got rejected. Which they phrased as headline as opposed to title. But right, because the headline is the... Right. Is the alleged defamatory statement. So I can say the, the statement the statement uh, is the headline if and not the entire op ed. Is that what you want me to say? All right. Thank you. The statement you is the face like a little red, I don't know. No, the verdict has not come in yet. We have another day. I'm gonna set my alarm for six thirty AM tomorrow <laughs> and try to like sleep watch. Entire op-ed. Oh, do you have a source for that, Nick Afri? Thank you. You have a source for that? All right. I will send that back to them. And just so we're clear, Your Honor, the, the wording would be what again? I can give you the copy of this one. Okay. okay, it says the statement is the headline, not the entire op-ed. Everybody's... Okay. Well, while we're waiting for that, and Mr. Chu, I did get your motion. I'm not ignoring you, but I am kind of ignoring you uh, because the, since the jury has the case now and it's out of my hands, uh, I appreciate your motion, but I'm not going to, to entertain it at this time, okay? Thank you, Your Honor. All right, thank you. Just can I have one moment, Your Honor? Just, just want to... All right. Are we satisfied with that answer? Yes. Okay. I will. Uh, we'll make copies of this first, and then I'll get it back to the jury. I'll get it back to you. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you, you Your Honor. Thank you. All right. I'm gonna miss everyone. I'm gonna miss hearing their voices. I've been listening for six weeks, man. I'll miss y'all. <laughs> All these familiar voices. I'm gonna miss seeing this Virginia thing. All right. Let's look at this. Oh my God. Bruh, I can't read that. <laughs> Let me zoom in. Oh, blah, 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 blah. Plaintiff John C. Depp II, memorandum in support of objection to improper argument and motion for curative instruction revised special verdict form. Plaintiff John C. Depp, by and through his undersigned counsel, hereby moves the honorable court to, one, strike defendant's inappropriate argument made during closing argument on May 27, 2022, and instruct the jury to disregard the inappropriate argument and to revise the special verdict form with respect to Mr. Depp's affirmation claims against Ms. Heard to conform to the language adopted by the court in the jury instructions. Argument 1. The court should provide a curative jury instruction. During closing arguments on May 27, counsel for Ms. Heard told jury that their decision in this case would send a message to every victim of domestic abuse everywhere. Uh, counsel for Ms. Heard also stated a ruling against Amber here sends a message that no matter what you do as an abuse victim, you always have to do more. No matter what you document, you always have to document more. No matter whom you tell, you always have to tell more people. No matter how honest you are about your own imperfections. She was not honest about any fucking thing. 
Bro, is she like at least admitted to a lot of the shit that she did that she clearly fucking did? Um, maybe people would think she's a little bit more honest, but like she fucking blatantly just denied every fucking thing and she tried to present herself as too fucking perfect. Um, okay. No matter how honest you are about your own imperfections, your own shortcomings in a relationship, you have to be perfect. No, not very true. Hello? How does that even make sense? Johnny Depp wasn't fucking perfect. We, we believe that he wrote some nasty text messages. We believe that he fucking threw shit around and he fucking assaulted objects. Why do people believe him? This, this statement doesn't even fucking make sense. Johnny's not fucking perfect and he hasn't admitted that he's perfect. You have to be perfect in order for people to believe you. Don't send that message. That's what Mr. Depp wants you to send. Yeah, I feel like Mr. Roddenboard is closing arguments. I felt like he was trying to manipulate us. He's trying to make us feel bad for believing Johnny. Like, I don't know, like the tactics that he was using. It was like guilt tripping. It's like, if you don't do this, then you're a bad person. Uh, I don't have the rest of the second page. No. Yeah. The remark made by Ms. Hurd counsel the jury improperly invites the jury to focus on a larger social objective beyond the case. Uh, Ply mail versus Mirandi. All right, I don't have the second page. Uh, news reporter says, Chief Judge Penny Azcarate told counsel essentially she's not going to entertain the motion right now because the case has been submitted to the jury. She said, I'm not ignoring you, but I'm kind of ignoring you because the jury has the case now. All right. What case is this? Uh, Depp versus Hurd. <laughs> 